people keep asking me to help them in raids, so I thought I would make this video to show you guys how to solo every raid with the best possible units, guys. So uh, let's hop into it and uh, let's get it. All right, guys. So we're going to be basing this list off of the units that can solo the raids. All right. So if a unit can't solo the raids, I'll probably put it in like B tier or lower, etc. So let's start off with Blackbeard. Now, Blackbeard, guys, I'm going to be honest. You can easily solo raids using him. So easily S tier. Kaido, guys, don't even try. Rengoku. Again, guys, he is not good for raid mode at all. Golden Frieza is a maybe. I'd say you might you might get away with him. Not recommending. This is the uh, old Kirito, guys. Old Kirito is not good. Don't worry. The new Kirito is good. So don't worry about that one. All right. Next up, guys, we have Ichigo, the air one. Now, personally, I don't really recommend him for raids. But I am going to give him A tier because he does. Actually, I'll give him B tier because he does slow the airs. Um, however, if you have him... Um, you might as well be using his uh, the seven star version. He's like definitely better, so I'll do like that. Uh, this is the old school Jotaro, not Jotaro over Heaven. Oh, this guy's actually fairly good for soloing raids. I'm gonna put him in the A plus tier. Minato, don't even try Luffy. You might be able to get away with him. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna actually rank Luffy a little bit higher. I'm gonna put Luffy in the B tier. Um, the reason being is we have that new co unit Zamasu guys, which makes units have the uh, holy elements. And uh, because of that, that means, I mean, they have the Dark Element. That really actually buffs Luffy's damage. So uh, I'm going to give him some credit where credit's due. And also Zamasu, guys, easily S tier. One of the best units to solo raids with. Jorno, not recommended, but usable. Don't even try. Uh, Nagato was good for the Hell Raid, guys. So I'm going to give him A tier for being good for the Hell Raid. Rukia is possible to use, not recommended. Impossible to, okay, these guys are impossible to use. All right, Tsukuna, honestly, you can maybe use Tsukuna. However, I think Tsukuna is kind of irrelevant now, so I'm going to put him in, like, mid-B tier. Um, the reason being is we have the new Magellan, and Magellan, guys, oh, my gosh, very, very good for raids. I don't technically think he's meta for soloing because there's better units out there, but uh, he's really good. All right, next up, guys, we have this guy's trash. For you. Okay, these guys, you can't even afford them. Itachi, you might be able to get away with, so C tier. All right, Gojo, definitely S tier, very helpful for raids. Trash, trash, bad, 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 bad. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of units that are just unusable, guys. So if you see a unit in the F tier, please don't equip it if you're trying to solo the raids. All right, there we go. Rengoku no Speedwagon. I'm going to say Speedwagon is A plus tier, guys. I know. Actually, you know what? He's A tier. To pay. He's actually, he is S tier for some raids, so I should give him some credit. But personally, I think Idol is better to use. All right, mainly because she also buffs the units for free. So if you guys are soloing most raids, I would use idle. But sometimes I do actually use both. So um, if you're trying to get like Aizen Max, then use both. All right, Elite Warrior isn't terrible. Levi isn't terrible, but Akasa is definitely better. I'm going to put Akasa S tier. Um, the reason I have Akasa in the S tier, guys, is pretty simple. Basically, she is a, like a very easy unit to get. And she does have the money buff. And she does also have bleed as well. So she covers the elementals. So she's very nice for soloing like Sinjin Raid, etc. So very nice unit for that. Enel, not recommended. Tengen, you might be able to like, actually get away with Tengen. But not recommended. Uryu, nah. Boros, nah. Shinji, honestly, I actually see him in a lot of strategies. I'm going to give him A plus tier. Okay, not really usable, guys. There's a lot of units that I don't recommend. Um, Brook, A plus. You can get away with him depending on your strategy. But definitely not recommended. Right, we have a lot of bad guys here. Not recommended at all. Obito is not good for raids, guys. He's good in the normal game, though. Um, Guys, they nerfed the Pharaoh, so he's not really usable anymore in raids. But he used to be good. So that's why he's ranked so low. All right, this Amasu is the wrong one, guys. So it won't work out well. Oh, my gosh. A lot of these units weren't worked. Dang. Alucard is actually underrated. I'm going to put him in the A-plus tier. He's up there with Shinji. I think he might be slightly better than Shinji because you can c combine him. Um, with the Asta. Alright, Killua, no, definitely not. Gone, honestly, Gone did get buffed, so I'll put him in the C tier for now. Um, it, he's kind of expensive, though, so I don't know, man. Maybe low C, you know what, maybe high F tier. Alright, Goldie Roger, honestly, B tier, possible for some raids. Alright, Rayleigh is underrated. I'm gonna give him A tier. Um, you can do the glitch buff with him, but honestly, I might, you might as well just go with Idol nowadays. So, uh, I'll put, he's still good, and you can solo raids with him, but Idol's probably your better bet. Alright, these guys aren't really usable. Alright, either of these guys. Abarai, this is the wrong Abarai, this is the weaker one. Not really usable. 
Yeah, let's just be honest, guys. A lot of these aren't usable for soloing raids. All right, metal, huh, metal cooler, definitely S tier. Very good for soloing pretty much every single raid in the game. Monkey King, not recommended. Raditz isn't bad though. Not recommend. Blue Vegu actually isn't terrible. Um, let's see here. Eh, she used to be. She was usable, so I'll put her. I'll put her there. You know what? Freeze isn't terrible either. For it. All right, Marie. This guy, right? Yeah, not worth it. This guy though is underrated. I think you could definitely get away with um, a Marine raid. He's very good for Marine raid. I mean, it makes sense considering he has Marine on his hat. Um, Diabolo isn't really usable. All right, these guys aren't really usable at all. Soul Snatchers may be usable. I'll put her in C tier. Ace, I would say Ace is this Ace is C tier, but like the good Ace is definitely B tier. Very good. But we actually do have a better fire unit, guys. Dabra right now. And I'm gonna be honest, Dabra is really good for raids. I'm gonna put him in A plus tier. He's underrated. All right, these guys aren't really usable. Naruto is usable for marine raids, so I'm gonna give him B tier. All right, Navy, I don't really recommend him. He used to be used back in the day, but I'm gonna be honest, guys, don't use him in raids for solo at least. Fire, I should give him some credit. He's actually not terrible. Um, let's see here. You could actually get away with Katakuri for the most part, so I'm gonna give him A tier. This Katakuri though, maybe C tier, you can maybe use him. Eraserhead six star isn't the worst thing in the world, but he's pretty bad. Not really my cup of tea. This guy's never dropped, guys. I don't know what's happening with Last Master. If you guys know, let me know. This is the six star. Yeah, you can kind of get away with these guys. Not really recommended. Who drawn guys? Honestly, very underrated. I'm gonna put him in A. I'm honestly I'm gonna put him in S tier. He is actually surprisingly good. Like surprisingly good. Um, this guy you can maybe use him. She honestly, I actually have used her solo raid, so I'm gonna have to give her B tier. Like it's surprising, but uh, we beat um what's it called? We beat um the Sinjin raid with her. So I have to give her some credit where credit's due. This guy is good for the hell raid, so I'll give him like B tier. Um, let's see here. Uh, Princess Apollo. Eh, I would say I, I'm gonna give her some credit A tier. Octo is usable. I'll give him A plus tier, especially if you're trying to go for. Actually, no, I'll give him S tier. He's good if you're going for Aizen. All right, this guy's a Tengen reskin, so he'll go wherever I put Tengen. So actually, I'll probably put him higher up on this list. Like, that's probably way better. Yeah, that's probably way more fair. All right, trash, 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 trash. Chainsaw Man, very good unit, A+. Um, there we go, trash, trash. Not really worth it. Um, Nezuko used to be part of so a lot of solo strategies, and the Dark Blessing is very good as well. All right, eh, this guy is maybe usable C tier if I remember correctly. Mob maybe usable C tier. This mob not really usable. Rygan is maybe usable. Not recommended though. Shigaraki not really recommended. I mean, you can maybe use them, but I don't really recommend it at all. I forget which one of these is the six star, but that one's the usable one. She, if I remember correctly, is not that great. I'm, I don't recommend her. Double, not recommended. Jack, this is the weaker one, not recommended. Pinky, honestly, has solid raids. So I'm going to give her B tier. Um, the Asura isn't terrible. C tier. All right, Demon Asta, definitely one of the best in the game. S tier. Unaffordable, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. This guy isn't terrible. I'll put him in B tier, C tier because he is usable in some raids. All right, Jodor over heaven, not recommended. This guy, not recommended. All right, Kuma eh, isn't terrible. This Melios isn't terrible. This is the better one. He's actually very good, C tier. This one is okay too. He's not terrible. Um, Cyanaman, I'll give him C tier. Meliodas six star, C tier. Big Mom, unusable. Meliodas seven star, if I remember correctly, is also C tier. Uh, not really usable, but Aizen 7 star guys is basically how you beat the hard bosses in this game. So highly recommended you bring him. Alright, this guy, girl is maybe usable if I remember correctly. Deku is kind of usable. Um, Erwin, definitely kind of usable. Bulma 5 star, definitely kind of usable. Shigaraki isn't actually that bad. I'll give him B tier. Let's see here. J this guy sucks. I don't recommend him because you might as well use the new guy, Savon Master, who's actually like cracked out. I don't know where I put him. Let me find him real quick. All right. Yeah, he's actually one of the best units in the game. 
um, for this. I'm gonna give him A plus tier. He's mainly only good for like the water raids though, so keep that in mind. Uh, next up we have power. Never use power, please. But maybe usable, so C tier. Maybe usable. Um, Tanjiro, seven star. is very good, guys. S tier easily. Other Tanjiro's not really recommended in my opinion. But uh, the six star, I think if I remember correctly, was kind of usable. Uh, he's actually not bad. I'm gonna give him C tier. Not usable. Springy isn't bad. Uh, Springy, I'll give Springy some credit and put him in the B tier. He's not a bad unit to bring. Uh, Shisui, B tier. Uh, she is more like C tier. Kagani, not really that great. He's, he's kind of usable. This guy's busted though. If you have him plus Demon Asta together, oh my gosh. And then throw an Aizen too. This is how you be like every raid. Pretty insane. Not recommended. Toru, very good as well. A plus tier. Hits airs. Guts, not really usable. You guys aren't really usable. Lucky isn't actually bad, so C tier. And not really usable. Katana Man, C tier, not bad. Eh, not really good. Eh, not really good if I remember correctly. Yeah, not really great. Boros, really too expensive. Freeze Guy, honestly, isn't bad. C tier. Um, she's actually not bad. She does a surprising amount of damage. Uh, Kirito, very good gas. Honestly, I'd probably say maybe slightly worse than Cooler, but it's still very good. She isn't bad, C tier. She can probably be Hell Raid. Actually, you know what? She can probably easily be Hell Raid. I'll give her B tier. Alright, real bar isn't worth it. You can't afford this guy. But Administrator isn't a bad freeze unit, but there's a lot of freeze units that are just as good. And then this guy isn't great either, so C tier. So uh, there you go, guys. Now, if I were you, I would I would show you what team I recommend. All right, so here we go. Down below, this is my team. Um, I would switch out Star King for Aizen if needed. But other than this, guys, this is a pretty goaded team. And also, guys, if you have Tanjiro, yeah. So depending on the raid, I'd switch out this guy for like maybe like Demon Asta, like so. Which is a very, very good look. So something like this is a very, very good squad. And I'd probably also switch out Star King as well for any unit. Like, for example, Magellan's good. Or any uh, dark unit. And you should be pretty much good to go. So pretty much beat every single raid in the game. Um, other than that, I do have specific strategies on specific raids, so go, go check out my channel. And if you want me to show you how to solo any raid, just comment it down below, and I'll try to make a video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, make sure you guys go check out this next video. I'm sure you'll like it. I'll have it right on the screen. Peace.